Hello guys, I am Shahzad from Shakzi.com and uh, welcome in KNM series. Today we are going to use the k-fold cross validations for our model. So as you can see, this is uh, we are not teaching here the whole machine learning or the data science. We are just using the k tools uh, to creating our model, to training or testing our models. Okay, now I'm going to create a new workflow. I'm saying k fold k fold we are not going to teach you here the k fold validations because I consider that you have the basic knowledge of the ML or machine learning now uh, I need the CSV reader uh, I have to collect the CSV reader from here okay now as you can see I have a CSV reader it's a node okay now execute this and open the file table so now as you can see i have the data set mostly i have a data set mostly i'm using the continuous data so as you can see this is the continuous data okay now we are going to apply the k fold cross validations for this so the overall instance are 100 instance so now i am saying cross validations so as you can see scoring you have x partitioner aggregator drag and drop both nodes now you have node connect your csv to x partitioner right click configure your data so as you can see it's saying number of validations we are using that k equals to 10 so that means k fold validation is 10 you can also use the linear sampling random sampling and also stratified sampling so if if i click on this stratified sampling apply okay now as you can see you have two nodes here you are two outputs so i'm saying this is the linear regression we are going to apply the linear regressions in this model so now as you can see this is the linear regressions so execute this one now hover over the node so as you can see it's a 19 nodes for the learning 10 nodes for the testing and now provide the this one which is the predictor to this model now provide your predictor to your aggregator now you need the scorer linear scorer or simple type scorer so as you can see this is a numeric scorer so give this one now right click configure i'm using the whole now these are the variables i'm going to use so as you can see now the prediction the prediction column is the predictions ccfr okay now right click configure so these are the two target variables and prediction variable okay now right click configure your numeric scorer the target variable is the ccfr the prediction is cc effort apply okay now if you want to run this one it will automatically execute these nodes if you want to run the separately one by one execute this one execute this one execute this one or execute this one it's totally depend upon you now you have successfully used the k4 k4 cross validations for validate your data right click statics so now as you can see it's now giving you the 0 0.527 accuracy for your model so depends on your problem or your data maybe you are using different kind of data and it will give you the more accurate results it's it's totally depend upon your data and the columns you are selecting 
so i hope you are enjoying our series if you think we are doing good feel free to share our courses and also the videos and don't forget to click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so thank you for watching